Okay, kids, are you ready? Firestorm, this one's called. Stand back. Woo! Oh, is that it? Call that a storm? It's more like a gentle breeze. Saves me right for shopping at Little, I suppose. The kids aren't bothered anyway. They're more interested in Halloween these days, aren't they? Out till all hours, trick or treating, rolling home with pockets full of sweets. We just duck for apples on Halloween. If you suggested that today, they'd laugh in your face. When I was growing up, November the 5th was my favourite day of the year. I liked it even more than Christmas. Well, once you'd opened your presents, Christmas Day was boring, wasn't it, you know? Hanging round the house, playing charades with your granny. When you'd sooner be outside with your mates. And my mum made us dress up and go to church and everything. I even had to wear a tie. Thank God it only came round once a year. But bonfire night was different. Bonfire night was our night. We'd scour the estate looking for wood, old mattresses, settees, anything we could burn. Sod the toxic fumes. Well... No one cared about stuff like that back then, did they? Our street was a cul-de-sac, with a patch of grass that we used as a footy pitch most of the year. But the first week in November was closed season. We put the ball away and concentrated on making ours the biggest and best bonfire on the estate. Giggsy was our leader, and he was ruthless. If you had a loose wooden gate or a rickety fence, the chances are you'd wake up in the morning and find it gone. I'll never forget the last year we were all together. By November the 4th our work was done. We stood proudly by the bonfire, admiring the fruits of our labour, and my dad came out and took a Polaroid. I've still got it. It's old now, yellow round the edges. Giggsy moved his head at the last second, just as my dad was pressing the shutter. His face is all blurred. He looks like a ghost. We joked about it at the time, but a week later, a week later, he, f- he fell off his bike and cracked his skull. He was in a coma for three months and then, well, well, then he died. His family never got over it and, and neither did I. Not really. Well, he's my best mate, wasn't he? I still miss him. I've always wondered... If that photo was some sort of sign, you know, a premonition of what was to come. My sister Cathy used to go to these spiritualist meetings once a month with her mates. She was into all that stuff. And one night, she reckoned Giggsy came through with a message for her. Why the hell would he have a message for you, I said. You couldn't stand the sight of him. I don't know. Maybe he secretly fancied me or something, she said. Trust me, sis, he didn't fancy you. She was carrying a bit of weight back then, was Cathy. Piss off, you cheeky cat, she said. Gladys, who runs the group, said she could see a bloke rubbing his head as if it was sore. It had to be him. He'd been doing a bit more than rubbing his head. It wasn't like a couple of paracetamol were going to fix him, was it? He wanted to say he was sorry, she said. That was the message. Sorry for what? Sorry for calling you a bit of a bloater. No way was it, Gixy. He never apologised for anything. I don't know why I bother speaking to you, she said, and stormed out, slamming the door behind her. I never really got on with Cathy. I still don't. But later, later I wondered if the message was meant for me. Maybe Giggsy knew that things would never be the same. Maybe he knew he'd left a gigsy shaped hole in my life. We never built another bonfire after that. We told ourselves it was just for kids. We were 15, nearly 16 years old. Pretty soon we'd have jobs, girlfriends, wives. And before you knew it, kids of our own, life moved on. But every year on November the 5th, we thought to drift back to the cul-de-sac on that pokey little council estate we called home and raise a glass of iron brew in memory of me old mate. I take the Polaroid from me wallet 
instead I a smile. This one's for you, Giggs, I say. There's a fumble in the box, looking for a Roman candle. They were his favourites. Here we go, kids. Kids, come on. This one'll be better, I promise. Okay, stand back. Are you ready? Here we go. Foot, foot, woo! Bang! Oh shit! No, don't cry, Georgia. Please don't cry. Look, look, your mum's coming. It's okay. Here's your mum. As she storms towards me, her face like thunder. I swear I can hear Giggsy laughing. That daft laugh of his. See you next year, mate. I say. Then a turn to face the wrath of our Cathy. <laughs>